The Rotus Pump Kit comes equipped with a pump and a hose, dosage table and installation guide, a small and large valve core remover, and a reverse and straight pump chuck extender. Either loosen the metal bung adapter located on the shaft of the Rotus Pump and remove it, unscrew the plastic bung plug located on top of the 55 gallon drum, and insert and tighten the bung adapter or slide the pump into place and then tighten the bung adapter. Insert the black 3 quarter inch hose with cam lock nipple into the pump discharge port. Lock the hose into place by folding the two cam lock ears all the way back. Underneath the pump housing locate the two color coded bulkhead hose connections. Insert the yellow hose into the bulkhead fitting that has been marked with the yellow dot and the black hose into the one marked with the black dot. The air hoses can be removed by pushing the orange collar on the fitting all the way in and gently pulling the hose out. Attach the yellow hose's nipple at the pump end into the coupling on the front face of the pump. After you have selected and attached an appropriate nipple or coupling to the brass opening in the front of the pump that matches your shop's air system, connect the air system to the pump. Unscrew the valve stem on top of the 55 gallon drum. Attach the pump chuck to the valve stem. Using the digit buttons, there is one button under each digit on the counter. Set the counter to 50. Open the gate valve. Gauge the pump by depressing the remote reset button. Once the pump completes its cycle, the pump will be primed and ready for use. Make a note of the three numbers on the side of the tire that denote the tire's size. To find the correct tire dosage, consult Rydon's website or open the Rotus Pump Dosage and Installation Guide. Use the last number in the tire size sequence, in this case 22.5, to locate all the 22.5 inch tires. Use the remaining two numbers to find the exact match and corresponding dosage, in this case 22. On the front of the Rotus Pump housing is a blue gauge with small black buttons. Each button corresponds to a digit on the counter. Set the counter to 22. Unfurl the pump hose as necessary to reach the installation tire. Remove the valve core. Attach the pump chuck to the valve stem. Open the gate valve by turning it 90 degrees. To activate the pump, press the remote reset button located directly in front of where the pump diverges into two. If done correctly, the pump will pulse the same amount of times as were numbered on the pump's meter, in this case 22. After the pump has completed its entire cycle, shut the gate valve and remove the pump chuck. Reinsert the valve core air to desired inflation pressure and the tire is ready for service.